Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I have been requested multiple times to show you guys how to how to get Vim looking the way it does in my uh, everything a programmer needs video. So today I'm going to show you how to configure Vim and get it looking the way it does in that video. So I have uninstalled uh, Vim completely from my computer. As you see, I don't have Vim. Uh, the only thing I have done is that I've gone to my GitHub account, uh, which you also should do. This is step one. Uh, you go to my GitHub. Uh, the link will be in the description. And then you go to repositories. And then you search for i3 which is this one, um, and you will find the .vimrc file here, and this is the file that you wanna, uh, wanna use. I have already placed this file uh, on my system, so what you wanna do is you wanna click raw, and you just wanna copy this whole thing, and you wanna place it in your home directory, so uh, if, you do, if you just go to your terminal and type cd and hit enter, this is where you want to put it. Uh, in my case, it's slash home slash uh, Ian Hutchinson, which is my uh, username on this computer. And if I do else lart, you will see uh, the dot vimrc file here somewhere. Uh, if we do else dot vim. RC. There it is. So it, it, it's it's laying here, uh, as you can see. Uh, so you want to place that in your home directory. And also what you want to do is that you want to um, install Vundle for Vim. So just Google Vundle for Vim. This is a plugin manager for Vim. And they have, um, it's very easy to install. You just scroll down to the instructions here and you'll see set up bundle and you will just copy this uh, link, uh, copy this command and paste it into your terminal. I might already have done this, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, it's already existing. It, all, it already exists because I have already done that. Uh, and then I'm just going to do sudo pacman s uh, vim and gvim. Uh, so I will install those. Actually, let's uh, let's uninstall those. Uh, uh, vim and vim. Uh, all right, uh, because I want to show you something. Uh, we need to re uh, remove the dot vim. I'm removing my vim folder just so that we can do this from the start. So I'm gonna copy this command again. I'm gonna paste it in, and it's gonna do its thing. And then we're gonna do sudo pacman s vim and vim. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm going to go into my workspace folder and I'm just going to open up a simple project. Let's go to, um, let's go to my not a game engine, nine edge, and let's. I'm just going to type Vim, and this is the default look of Vim. Uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to hit Escape, and we're going to hit um, colon. And we're going to type plugin install and hit enter. And now it's going to install all of the, the stuff, uh, the themes and the plugins and stuff like that. Um, and when that is done, we will reboot Vim and it should look amazing. Uh, so make sure you have 
put the the Vim RC inside of your uh, home folder and make sure you have installed uh, Vondel for Vim. Uh, I have a plugin called you complete me in here and it's it's a pretty big one so it's 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 taking some time but yeah and in this in my repository i3 it's actually for the window manager that I'm using so if you want, you can also, uh, if you're using i3, i3, you could clone down the, uh, uh, you could take my i3 config as well, if you wanna want it to look like the way it does uh, on my system. Um, it's pretty neat. I use it on my laptop as well and also the i3 status config. And this is for the terminal. There we go, we're done. So now we're just gonna cancel Vim and we're gonna start it up again. And there we go, looks amazing. Um, so yeah, that is how you get Vim to look the way it does on my system. And you saw an error there, and that's because because of the you complete me plugin, and we can fix that very easily just by going to. This is optional. Uh, you could just remove the you complete me plugin. Personally, I I I would remove it because uh, I don't use it anymore. But if you do want to use it, uh, go to your .vim folder and go into the bundle. And you will go into the, uh, uh, where is it, uh, you complete me folder. And you would run install.py or install.sh. Uh, I usually run the Python one, I think. Uh, so what you do is just you type python install.py. And that will compile the uh, plugin and it will start working. Uh, this will take some time. Uh, so I will end the video here. But anyways, that is how you get you complete me to work. Uh, and it's basically, if we do check it out, you complete me then. It's, uh, it's for like auto completion, like when you type something, you'll get suggestions and stuff like that. It's pretty nice, but yeah. Uh, I have it on my uh, MacBook, but, and also on my Arch Linux, uh, my Lenovo laptop with Arch Linux. But recently I removed it because it's like a little bit buggy sometimes, I guess. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty nice. So, oh, we're already done. So maybe we could check it out. I don't think that we'll, I don't think that we will uh, be able to like, uh, let's go into, uh, to my project again. Let's move this one to the full screen. Uh, I don't think we will be able to like uh, this. Oh, I'm getting suggestions. So that is working. Cool. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.